Hello and welcome to another Pagical 10 video tutorial. In this episode, I will show you 8 Pagical tips and tricks that are guaranteed to boost your productivity instantly. Tip number 1. Use categories and the Kanban board to track your project pipeline. With the new Kanban board in the project section, it's really easy to see your projects and their category assignments. You can also move projects from one category to another. So, creating categories that reflect your workflow stages can help you visualize and track your projects across their lifespan. For example, create state categories such as future, in progress, stuck, and completed. Then put your projects and move them through these states as they progress. When things are behind or stuck, put them in the stuck column. When things are done, move them to the completed column. You can also create categories that matter to you the most. For instance, if you're a music producer, then you would have categories like brainstorming, composition, recording, and mastering. If you are a researcher, you could have categories like planning, data collection, analysis, writing, and submitted, etc. Tip number two, customize the Kanban boards to reflect your pipeline. The Kanban boards can be customized so that you only see the columns that are important to you. You can show and hide categories by closing the boards or using the customize button. You can also move boards by dragging on the labels. Tip number three, tab management, keyboard shortcuts. Just like your web browsers, you may end up with lots of tabs in Pagico. You can use the keyboard shortcut control plus number from one to nine to quickly jump to any of the first nine tabs. Tip number four, clear tabs in bulk. If you have too many tabs, you can right click and choose to clear everything to the right or close all other tabs. Tip number five, pin projects for quicker access. You can pin any number of projects or contacts to your dashboard for quicker access. To pin or unpin, go to a container, click on the actions button, then choose the pin or unpin menu command. Pinned items can also be reordered so you can arrange the layout of your frequently accessed content. Tip number six, use the starred items list. As you know, you can star or unstar projects and contacts by clicking on the star icon or by using the keyboard shortcut command plus S. Starred items will show up in the sidebar and you can reorder it by dragging and dropping on the icons. Starred items will also serve as a quick destination list in the copy to and move to menus. So definitely customize your starred items list to further speed up your day-to-day -day operations. Tip number seven, see all create new options with the sidebar minimized. If you like to keep your sidebar minimized, it may be difficult for you to create various types of data objects without the extended create new button. In this case, simply right click on the plus button for the complete create new menu. Tip number eight, use static collections to manage large scale projects. Sometimes you run into projects that involve multiple sub projects, or maybe you just want to plan out your summer. In any event, create a static collection and put your projects inside. By doing so, you will group all these projects together like a folder and have a scoped timeline and calendar view so you can stay focused. Did you know that each collection also has its own customizable Kanban boards? You can use collections to group similar projects together, such as all your prospect leads or just research projects. Then use a customized Kanban board to track and manage the state of your projects. That's all for today. I hope these eight magical tips and tricks can help you get more done faster. Thank you for watching.